Alright everyone, hello, and welcome back to Brave New World Blindfolded. Uh, so in this episode, I'm just gonna be walking through South Figaro, picking up a bunch of stuff, chatting with Garrett for a couple seconds, you know, the usual stuff. Just gotta remember that part visually, and I gotta walk r up and right. Unlike Nikea, this, uh, South Figaro is a very standard place to walk through. And there's not a lot of NPCs, especially not in the world of Ruin. All the cluttered NPCs that we saw in the world of Balance near the uh, Relic Shop area, they're all gone now, so... There's just one guy in a pink shirt walking around up north, and... There's one kid somewhere else, but he's usually way off in the middle of nowhere and doesn't get my way very much, so... He's pretty much a non-factor. That's probably good enough. Up one to go around that... the strange design of this building. Just that little bit sticking out back there. So run all the way over here, and now I don't have to be too careful because I will go in the door any second now. Now, as long as I don't walk too quickly, I can talk to Garrod with going up and right. There we go. Menu trick until the end of this conversation. And now I can go down and left a bit. I definitely don't want to walk through the cafe again. The cafe in here is almost no better than Nikea, so... I had enough of the cafe during Locke's scenario a long time ago. I don't feel the urge to go investigating it again. <laughs> All the way to the left. One. Two. All the way to the left again. This time when I go up, I'll hit the corner, because I'm... Like, when I went up the staircase, I hit the corner from the left, and it didn't matter if I went around it. But, going back, I have to make sure to remember that the corner's there, so that I don't mess it up. Right one, up one around the corner, down the stairs. Alright, so... One back, down. This area is short, so I can just go left and down. I can't, can't just go left and down from that corner back there, because I'll end up hitting the left corner of the relic shop, not walking out the door. So I've got to do it this way. No big deal. One extra step is no big deal. Alright, all the way up. One, two, all the way up again. I should hit the door. Hit the door. Now I gotta walk out of the building. One step to the right, all the way down to hit the riverbank. The guy can't really get in my way much there. All the way to the right. And I'll reach. Yeah, all the thieves disappear when I talk to Garrett, so it's nice that he's so early in the route so that I don't end up having to deal with extra NPCs. Left one step, up, into the weapon shop. Hello, weapon shop owner. Buy a fire lance. I'll walk out of the place. Now I walk up and right and get the last treasure I need from this place. Well, second last. There's another one that's easier to get later than here because I can just uh, grab it on the way back and it tells me when I've reached it. There's also a treasure in a barrel up there. I'm talking to this guy. Let's, uh, stop doing that. There's a treasure in a barrel to the top left. You might even be able to see it from here. And that one's not worth getting. It's just a phoenix down, and... Let's be honest here. That's not worth the trip all the way up there, so... All the way down all the way left, and I'm pretty much out of this place. My cursor's still on save, and that's the end of that segment. Not even five minutes long, but... <laughs> I mean, Nikea's... Uh, Nikea's gotta be its own segment, because it's such a pain in the butt, and the Cave of South Figaro is not gonna be super easy probably either, so that's definitely gonna be its own segment as well. So this one's caught in the middle.
and so it's going to end up a pretty short one. So see you next time.